so couple of things I want to mention before we actually run this in the toolbar at the top you start to notice that you have a drop down box right here from a drop down box it's going to list for you the different emulators available uh, right now for you to access whatever you are running your application or debugging your application so you can see various listed emulators right now you can create more emulators later we can also click on this button which is going to enable the android device logging that is lock at the main task of android device logging is it gives you a lot of information of what's actually going on within your emulator as it starts till it is getting closed we have also access to write into these things which we'll be dealing on later so you can see this as the another method to debug your application then finally you can go to the android emulator manager that is avd android virtual device click on this and you will find various emulator uh, you're gonna see something here that looks a little bit familiar to the drop down box we just saw avds are listed here android virtual device you can also see the version of android the emulator is targeting you can see 4.0.3 6.0 this is fully configurable we can click on it and edit the emulator according to our requirements we also have number of device definitions so we can create instances of galaxy nexus or android tv you can see yeah there you go galaxy nexus android tv android wear and various insta instances of android platforms in various form factors now we can close this out and finally we can look at the android sdk manager it is a way for you to actually continue to keep up to date all of the packages and versions of the android software on your system so as new updates come you can download them and install as well as delete things you don't need anymore see you can see here that i need to install six more packages to get updated and i can also delete three packages that won't affect the whole Android development thing. Now that you have seen the basics of what the Xamarin.Android packages is going to give you out of the box, we can go ahead and press F5 to F5 to debug our application. The new Xamarin has introduced a new feature that if you connect your mobile with a USB in your laptop or PC, it will automatically read your device and you can just click here and uh, then run the application the application will be directly installed on your mobile and you will be able to use it so here is how you can check whether your application is running or not and the other part is since we have our emulator api 23 so another method to test your application whether it's running or not you can see that here xamarin android provides you the api of 23 by default so Firstly, we are going to check whether our application in this project is suitable for this API level or not. Now here you can see the minimum Android to target this is level 16. Android 4.1 level 16. Okay, so we are gonna make a little bit change and do it to 23 so that it runs perfectly and now we can go to run this application you can see the build has started and the project is being deployed on the emulator and the emulator is going to start it's gonna launch the api 23 emulator and trust me these are notoriously slow it takes a lot of time to to run the emulator So here you can see that the emulator is finally running and the app2, the name of our project is running the application. We can check here, one clicks, two clicks, it's finally working. So now the next video lectures we will be looking into basic building block like these type of application. Thank you for watching, tune for the next one.